Rain even got in my Crocs. It's like it's never good weather here. I'm getting really tired of this crazy weather thing. It was freezing and then it went to calm and slightly warm. Then it started hailing and then it was bright and kind of muggy and then it started pouring rain real fast and then instantly the sun came out and then look at this now. It's like green and blue again, it's nice. It's a little bit windy and it's cold but it's like not gloomy and just depressing. Um, so I have a crazy weekend schedule. I'm gonna stay here as long as possible to get work done even though I just found out the speakers and everything got blown or something, I don't know. Something happened last night in Iowa City so I need to leave early. I need to leave here early get down to Iowa City, check those out, play tonight. I'm gonna drive back here so I can leave tomorrow morning from here with the guys at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. we're having tacos with Ashley downtown. And then we're going right upstairs to the place I'm playing at, checking the sound system out, meeting the manager, blah, blah, blah. Then we're picking Schoenfeld up, going over to West Des Moines to Cowboy Jack's for the beginning of Pascar's birthday since I'm not able to celebrate with him. Because my gig got canceled, I still wanna celebrate and say hi um, so we're gonna go to the first part of his birthday, celebrate, then half the team's gonna drive back, grab dinner, go set up and play at 300 Craft and Rooftop. Oh, and there's a hotel check-in when we get to Des Moines, so that's in there too. I have to like, keep on the time, because if I lose track, I'm going to slip and miss something. It's kind of stressful. It's been a very, it's been kind of a stressful week, so, oof. <laughs> Of course the lighting is awesome right now. Um, this is like the first, this is like the first uh, Friday going to Iowa City. I didn't have to pack a bag because I'm actually heading right back up. Hold on. Okay, I was in a super rush today trying to get a bunch of stuff done and ended up leaving town way later than I wanted to. Awesome sunset right now, but I can't shoot it. I shot a little bit while I was pumping gas. But anyways, I wanted to talk about quick, bring us back to earlier, Saturday is going to be insane. And I break everything down kind of by hour or I break a lot of it down so it's easily manageable. And it seems stressful, it seems like it's so robotic, it seems so... I don't know the word right now. Anyways, I have a lot of friends that are like, if you plan all the time, you know, you won't have any fun, but at the same time, with how much stuff that I have to do all the time, if I didn't plan, I wouldn't be able to accomplish half of it, quarter of it, any of it. But still should be a good time. <laughs>
I'm so tired. It's four in the morning. I just got back to Cedar Falls. It was a really solid night. It was surprisingly a really solid night, but at one point, things got crowded and a drink spilled on the corner of my turntable. Somehow, I knew it was going to happen someday, and we didn't put the plexiglass up yet, which now we will do immediately, but um, I got a show technically tonight, Saturday, but I'm going to try to wake up early and maybe take this thing apart and figure it all out. As soon as I saw the spill, I grabbed the towel, wiped it, turned it off, flipped it upside down, and I'm just going to leave it like this all night long. And I actually, you know those little, uh, little things that you're not supposed to eat? Apparently they absorb moisture, so I'm going to leave that right by the spot it spilled and hopefully suck up the rest of it down there. <sighs> now I'm going to try to, now I need to get some rest.